Starting with discussion and possible action of, for approval of bills, payroll, and monthly reports. We'll start with our treasurer. I believe Jeronimo Martinez is here on behalf of the treasurer. Tacos. Tacos for everybody. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Hope everybody had a restful weekend. And we did slip roll call. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Martinez. Some people aren't paying attention. Others are. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't woken up yet. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. <laughs> Very well. You can proceed, sir. All right. Thank you, Judge. Good morning, our honorable judge and county commissioners. Jeronimo Martinez, Chief Treasurer, Chief Deputy Treasurer, for the record. This morning, I'll be presenting two items, the bills and disbursements and the monthly report for the month of December 2022. For the period of January 6th through January 19th, 2023, we received and reviewed a total of 614 invoices, which were paid via 203 checks, which totaled $621,647 with 57 cents. 89 of those were electronic fund transfers. Those totaled $786,627 with 14 cents. Next slide, please. For the same period, we reviewed and received 2,056 invoices. Those 125 were paid with checks. Those totaled $344,418 with 46 cents. These fall under routine expenses and do not require ratification. Next slide, please. During the same period, we received 18 invoices that were paid with 13 checks, processed totaling $54,789 with 90 cents. Three electronic fund transfers totaling $113,089 with 56 cents, which formal approval and ratification are needed for these. I'm sorry. You got it? So moved. So moved. Uh, you don't need a. It's just so moved action, right? Yeah, sec. Yeah, just so moved. Yeah. Except. All right. Sounds Any good. Opposed? We don't have the ratification. Uh, uh, on the next slide, we'll see the That's department switch re request to them. Very good. So, we'll motion second. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. For the pay period of December 30th, 2022 through January 12th, 2023, the total gross wages and liability disbursements for the county's payroll total $4,500,427 with 66 cents. Next slide, please. Finally, in regards to the Casablanca golf course, the previous estimation for the pay date of January 13th, 2023 was 40,000. The actual disbursement amount was $35,465 with 75 cents. For the upcoming pay date of January 27th, 2023, the estimated funds required are once again, approximately 40,000. So move not to exceed a payroll of $40,000. I second. second that. Any opposed? Motion Thank carries. <laughs> Now I'd like to present the monthly report for the month of December 2022. The first slide will highlight the total portfolio and the positions of the county. The total cash on hand at the end of December 2022 was $192,918,368 with 60 cents. Our total investments amount to $56,833,986 with 10 cents. And these make up bonds, CDs, treasury securities, commercial paper, and municipal bonds. The total portfolio at the end of December 2022 was $249,752,354 with 70 cents. Next slide, please. The following slide reflects the total bank reconciliations that are done by the treasurer's office. Uh, on the right side of it, you can see the breakdown of our diversified portfolio. Next slide. I'm pleased to report that our interest rates continue to rise. As Mr. Reyes mentioned at the last commissioner's court meeting, the depository Falcon International Bank has now been raised a full 100 basis points, and we're at 2.5% return in our depository. The investment pools continue to, do, continue to do well for us. The rate of return for December was 3.9799 tax pool, 4.3169% for Texas class. Our fixed income investments have begun to mature almost month over month, and their average rates of return are FADA, for FADA wealth, we have 1.9810%, multi-bank securities sitting at 1.92% and Great Pacific Securities at the 3.7540. The total returns for the month of December 
were almost half a million, and they were four hundred and eighty-eight thousand five hundred and twelve dollars. Half a million dollars worth of interest. The total the total book values for each of our investment portfolio is as follows for the month of December. For text pool, we had. $8,804,145.82. Texas class, $10,083,040.13. Multi-bank securities, $14,058,000. Vida wealth, $18,928,278.53. With and Greater Pacific Securities, $4,912,006.94. On the next slide. On this slide, you can see the breakdown of the disbursements amounts of the total checks issued from the general operating account, which were $13,725,774.04. The next slide, please. This slide shows the activity pertaining to the sales tax. In December 2022, our total sales tax revenue was $2,272,472, which is almost a 20% increase from the same time last year. Next slide, please. With regards to the bingo and mixed beverage tax, the bingo tax will be received on the 25th. And as far as mixed beverage, we received $62,812 with 17 cents for the month of December. What is that noise? Excuse me real quick. What is it? They're hammering some nails that we're sticking up. Yeah, if you don't mind, have them wait, please. Thank you. I'm sorry, you may proceed, sir. Yes, sir. In December, our rental revenue totaled $7,530 with 24 cents. <laughs> our rental expenses were $19,787 with 54 cents. Next slide, please. Uh, for the month of May, the total amount of lease payments were $347,059 with 28 cents. Next slide. Total, the total royalties for the month of December were $583,509.96 with 58 cents. Uh, and we're still pending to receive uh, the invoices for the permanent school payout. Do you have last month's uh, royalties? I do not have them on me, but they did fall a bit. We were almost at a million. I say it was a million bucks. No? It was about a million, yes. They fell? Short. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. The price has crashed. I don't know why. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, so. It wasn't 50%. That's why I was just wondering. So I know that in our report, if you give me one second. So, give me one second. Just so we could compare. Almost there. Okay, so last month we were at uh, $1,008,171. But for the month of December in 2022, with this being 583000 the same time last year we had 419000 in revenue. So we're, we still did pretty well. In comparison, like, yeah, year, in comparison year over year. I believe they've had new wells since then. That's why. It may be offline for service or something. Could have been. Could be. Yes, sir. So that continues to be the issue that we're not able to oversight the, these companies, you know, without absorbing the cost or something. You know. I think we still need yeah. to pursue that legislatively. I have one more slide. There we go. The tax max parking lot. So finally, the Tex-Mex parking lot generated a total of $2,422 for the month of December. You're down 1000 what happened? Huh? You're down 1000 what happened? Uh, I know. I Holiday. need to be out there. I, I need to get a sign and be out there waving it or something. But we're still doing well. Um, that's my report. If anybody has any questions, comments. Motion to approve. I feel like Greece Second. with that Tex-Mex parking lot hopelessly devoted <laughs> to you. Anyway, motion second. Any opposed? Motion carries. That's what my wife says. Never start singing. Anymore. Thank you all. Have a good day. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, sir.